welcome back in tech dev studio and from this video we are going to create another we are going to basically start another tutorial series which is depends on tower war defender type game you probably heard about that or even some of them maybe you already played okay so we are going to create those mechanics for our own game and we will learn that how you can create those mechanics okay so let's get start so first thing there's a very simple uh concept that there will be a blue team or there will be a red team so you will be any of them and we'll you will start with a one player or two player and that's player there's a more player will be spawned depends on your rate like how much your level is and if you have another uh nearest you know the attack point for example this is the red one and then your you know your strategy will be to just get attack on this one and once you get uh give it attack and once you're attack then you will be get full control of this position or this tower and you'll have more one tower then so then you will be attacked more and once you have attacked done all of those attack your game will be done so it's kind of like very casual and it's step by step or kind of like a level by level game okay level by level it's become hard so let's just start so first thing is that we need to first make the starting system okay like how it going to be start so we can keep the for example the third person one and let's make the system in the folder called uh, tds uh tower war uh, so yes system okay so instead of that let's create a, a folder okay or uh, you can start with a basically uh i keep all of always my folder like this so blueprint okay inside of this blueprint let's create a because it's going to be a control and it's going to be move as well so some of them you can stay like how it was so it will be if you give it as a actor class which is not need to be moved so you can even use the actor class so let's use the actors because for this type of stuff it's never moved so let's give it that uh, pp post okay or bp tower okay once we have the bp tower let's drag and drop it okay now we need uh, simple stuff okay we need really very simple stuff we can create it by from the blender or even you can uh use uh any kind of uh, like 3d software or you can even even use the unreal Engine by default cubes and etc so because i know some of blender stuff so i'm going to use the blender okay and something like this now we are basically going to create the ground like how our town ground will be so i have all the backups needed stuff so i can easily detect that how much size i need it so for example this is basically currently if i uh, say it it's basically one by one and let's make the thing something like this okay now we need that on the starting point it will be first of all like a one or it will be just about a two size okay then once it's like something like this it will become double okay like once it's uh, become bigger we can update it something like this more one more stuff and we can give a gap to user can even see that okay his uh, grid has become increased or he has now the more uh you know the people's so something like that so once we have this so let's make a duplicate of this so i'm keeping a duplicate so this is the one and this will be the power of variant two so i'm going to set up something like this okay and let's make a duplicate this will be the variant two and the variant uh, four the level four it will be become something like this or the level three you know just you are making uh increasing the gate Th that's why i say that you can use the unreal engine you know the oh let me do a simple thing here let me duplicate it and this is the variant three or level three and this will be the level four okay so this is our all different needed uh level so it going to be basically increase our size day by day okay and for these three things what i'm going to do from the z axis i'm going to make it as a middle so it will be not anything st stupid stuff okay oh i forget to select this one as well sorry okay 
now it will be look like it's update by grid better half okay now once we have something like this okay we have the grid base we know that how the level one two three four will be so for example we are giving now the four different types of stuff okay now what we need one more thing about to add here now we need to export this thing so first i'm going to set up a material on that because by default there's a no material so it and uh, the blender will be give us a very random material so i'm giving it name that tm which is the tower or t mat which is the tower mat and as usual i'm going to put it the red color okay and uh, i'm going to uh, do the same thing for the all the models just i'm going to assign them the natural now about these three gates like this okay you can even generate by one by one but because uh, for time saving i'm just creating as a static mesh so i'm going to just simply replace them okay something like that okay now it's time to rename them okay so let's give it them uh, because the rename mesh will be showing the our unreal engine stuff so that's why so lv1 uh m this is the level two so join them and make it now like this stuff when you don't have you need to make it the root position you can choose the surface so it will come at here okay then it is the level m uh level two dash m or maybe i give one more dash okay this is the level three so join make it a surface so that's why i said that this is i'm going to show you complete okay so you will be know the full process how you actually need to do one by one everything m and lastly this is our last one join make it the surface and this will be lv 4 m mesh okay and this last of all our player we don't need this so we can remove this one okay now about this thing what you need to do is just you need to make the position all to zero okay even you can keep it something like this doesn't matter okay but i'm going to just put it at here okay okay lastly you can check the phase orientation is everything is probably showing up or not otherwise it will give you issue or export time okay or even when you're going to use them so file export and let me now just transfer that to a folder and i'm going to create a folder because i always keep my blender file save so save file okay now at here i'm going to export this thing so let's make it a folder called lv mesh i should give it the tower mesh it should be more okay and for going to save i'm going to save it at here uh so so, 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 so in future if i need to do any edit i can do it from here okay i have this thing okay now come back so unreal okay now at here uh because we have the tower uh the blueprint now we need it uh, import the model so a models okay instead of the a models let's import those model what we already created uh oh, sorry that is the no, folder mobile tower save data and here we go okay see that's why i assigned them because it's going to be us as a proper material what we need okay now from here we have the meshes okay so we can basically use them directly without any complexity okay cool now in the first what i'm going to do is i maybe miss one i guess no i, I import it all okay so first let's assign the mesh at here on the first mesh so others will be basically replaced okay they will be not spawn uh separately they will be just increased so for example when we update to level 2 it will be just change the mesh to something like this and we have basically level 2 mesh okay so like that okay cool so for example let me now use the first one okay oh sorry which will be this our level 4 3 2 
level one okay cool so this is our level one so at the level one and and the uh, as an enemy okay we have will be it can be anything like we can have a red team or we can have a blue team okay it will be depends on us okay now what we need is basically we need a system to first it can be shoot us or we need to basically make that some video stuff so at here i'm going to use by default unreal engine 4 character which is basically really cool i always like this thing very much okay uh i'm going to give it from yeah okay okay i'm not going to you know merge it with this and about the face there is a most biggest thing will become on depends on your face like how you want like if you want your game face as a y axis you need to keep it something like this if you want to keep your game axis or the face like x so you need to rotate it okay so that's why so for example i'm going to keep it something like this how it was right now okay cool the second we need some animation about the you know it's shooting or whatever you want to do with this one so i'm going to first for for now i'm going to keep it something like this okay really very cool okay now what we need is basically we need the same stuff for our enemy so let's make a folder uh we can keep it but at this folder we will be giving that enemy okay instead of the enemy i'm going to duplicate this thing because i'm not going to create any it again okay so this is basically for example our enemy so i sh i think i should change the color so it will be look okay okay matte to uh let's give it the color to blue so this will be our basically enemy and it will be us okay so let's assign the blue for us okay and the enemy will be have the red team so blueprint and enemy um, something like this and we can rotate it okay cool so we have basically the one of basically very visually now you have a question about the characters okay the to, to be honest the, whenever we uh, are assign them the color in the game the player also become the same color okay like how is the tower color the the player also get the same so for make that what we need is basically is we need to create uh you can can connect with a constant okay so it's going to be change it uh also you can do with this one too as well so i'm going to give it with a constant one so set material construction basically and unreal engine material is basically this is basically the logo and this is so the element number one will be changed so from here let's get material and we can basically directly assign it now it will be become changed with this one okay see so what will be, will be our player have it is going to be same okay so now we have the same same actually okay so from the up it will be look cool but to be honest if we change something like this you can see it's become very hard for user to see it so that's why i'm not going to be use this one okay i just I show you the system that how you you can use but in my case i'm not going to use because i like the white variant and the blue and this three is enough okay okay cool now we need some animation okay to make it uh make it so more visually okay so let's get it and then we'll be set up so for animation i have thumbs up so i'm going to use any of them okay so uh mocap shooting let's use this uh, shooter rifle one and let's give it name uh, in our tower okay tower sim and cool we have the animation right now okay for the animation as far i know that this animation uh what is the basically the mesh we can use his mesh as well there's a no issue okay so yeah this one right and why is his skeleton okay so for this one i'm going to replace with the unreal engine 4 one okay which is the basically sk mannequin replace i hope without any issue i can use this animation okay because uh, the you know the bones are pretty same rifle jaws okay cool 
Okay, so he just gave three animation. I'm not sure. Oh, maybe for the render because others are okay. Okay, cool. We have now this kind of like visual thing. So now if I click on play, we will be see that how it's looking. Okay, so we have basically the base system. Okay, then we need basically some of if I say uh, some gun model, so it will be look cool. Okay, so let's add that to some weapon. Maybe I have some weapon stuff. Uh, the weapon. I'm just searching in my library. Uh, pretty much I have lots of. So for example, okay, like I have two different type of variant. I'm going to use this one uh, because I I never know that why this pack is never updated after. 4.27 <laughs> okay like this is a very cool pack okay now just add a weapon at here or we can use even this is a master class then we can make the parent if you think that it's very you know because it's too much basically they are using the same most of cases and what is the bundle mesh okay cool i guess we can use the x version and i can add with his hand or weapon r okay i guess this they use the y-axis stuff okay cool he, they use the y variant it's really look weird but it's okay i guess yeah how is there this it's it, it's okay so we have basically this system okay now what we need is basically a master component which they can start the game okay because there we have the system of everything now we need the two system at here probably like more than two okay so first we need to make the system of like when we start the game you know it should be start the firing on everything and other thing we get control like it's kind of like a master controller okay and that master controller have the all data so you know which tower is attacked or which one or even you can keep it on an instance as well so you can bypass the whole data in, in any of them without any issue so for that i'm going to use the bypass data which is basically called instance okay i call it bypass data because you can call it anywhere you can use it anywhere you can cast it anywhere without any restriction that's why so let's create a game instance names ins and let's give it that war ins war ins okay instead of the our war ins we don't forget to assign that to your project instance otherwise it's not going to be work so ins and instead of the thing let's give war ins okay cool now instead of our war ins okay the first thing we need a caller and then we need the executor and then we need an even caller basically some more okay so first what we need at here let's make some give him some more system for example at this bp this is the tower first we'll we give him the shooting uh, permission the custom event call shoot okay and we'll be use a timer so set timer And this time it will be basically the weapon and the values whenever we attack someone how much faster it's going to be take the you know it will going to be attack another tower and he'll give the whole permission of that subject like this so this value will be very really very repeat so for example um, we need always need to keep it a straight value so for example is by default is two or every three that will be make it a clear version also so shoot off so suppose if our tower is stop uh attacked what it should be okay so custom event uh shoot off so for that is like something like this okay what we need next the next we need a projectile okay so the projectile will be basically uh you know and I'm going to attach with the uh, weapon and let's give it a uh, attach on the muzzle and to be honest this will be really look weird on his so I'll just keep it something like this and 
for now we'll be change we'll be fix this animation later okay because we need a straight ah so if you think this is too much problematic you can stop real time and you can do your work okay and once you think it's done just enable it again okay cool so we have basically the muzzle flash right now okay so we can get his data for the spawning bullets and etc so let's now make that system so get uh world location so we are pretty much going to create that weapon shooting system okay get our rotation we need the wall rotation obviously for both and hold a second i'm coming okay uh, i'm back so we have the wall location we have the wall rotation now we just need to make a spawn actor from class so this spawn actor from class <coughs> i'm so sorry okay this actor spawn from class will be our bullet basically so we need now two type of bullet so first let's make a master bullet okay we are going to make faster <coughs> Oh, I think I, I have not there. Let's make uh, the bullet, bullet BP, bullet BP. And once we have the bullet BP, what we need is basically we need to make that system of that bullet. Uh, you can use even cylinder or even any type of mesh. For example, I'm using spare and uh, let's make it uh, the value of 0.2. Uh, on this one you can make it a uh, dynamic overlap I'm making the overlap dynamic okay oh sorry yeah there's basically the overlap dynamic and there should be a begin play so we can use this thing okay and second we need basically the projectile so the projectile movement will be help us to move this you know the bullet so we'll be give the value of uh, 500 500 by 500 okay i guess this is pretty enough for anything okay cool the second what we need is once it's uh hitting let's give it that uh bullet pp okay now we need to give him the transform so you can make transform rotation and symbolic connect okay and always spawn make sure and we have now basically the system for the shooting okay the second uh why i choose the uh, now what we need is second we need to make our character is rotatable okay now like why rotatable is basically for example is if our town is something like this and something like this the player should be you know the grid will be not move or rotate the player will be moved something like this and he will be shoot so that's why okay so there's will be also you know fine look as uh you know position and stuff so we'll be get our character and set uh reactive uh relative rotation okay and now for the there will be fine look at rotation so the start will be his own so get relay uh relative rotation location and the target will be basically our the nearest fender point actually so for every under it will be add a sequence node so we can make it uh, expandable and later and then we use the timer okay the timer will be help us to determine this thing so custom event times let's verify it uh, every after like this point of time it will be get all actor of classes and the classes now we i actually need to make it a parent master class okay so uh this is right let's create a child and the child will be bp anime okay cool now we have the anime version so this anime 
uh, sorry enemy and then fine will be get actor location oh sorry what the heck uh, so yeah get actor location from our own actor location to this is and it will be try to find the nearest so this is the it will give us the most nearest data as much as possible and we'll be get the return value as a uh, attack post which is the basic attack position actually so now what we need is we need to for the target from this actor post will be get world location uh, get uh, that is the get actual location and then we'll be connect with uh, the target okay now we have the target and every of shoot will be rotated on him okay cool so now if i remove this guy and if i face this tower guy okay and now we need to make a determined system like on this thing okay like is this his enemy or he's the you know like his self basically so if he's self so he's not going to be uh, attack his team or you know like himself he should attack on the enemy team so for making that team system we'll be use the enum uh i guess it's on a malicious uh where the heck it's got yeah enums okay let's give it that a uh, type so instead of type let's add two thing one is red one is blue so we have red team and blue team so instead of tower we'll be create a variable team and at here i'm going to just write that thing that types and the here our types so now we'll verify which type of it is basically so if it's equals enum of red if it's red okay so he'll be only try to find that the red team okay which is basically the enemy team and if it's not he will be try to find the town okay but at this one it should be ignore their own self which is if there's a that list so i'm going to create another pp child and give it that self okay instead of the self one what i'm going to do is i'm going to assign this at here okay and if it's false minute they are a blue team so instead of that uh, on the array okay i'm going i need to do a simple thing which is we need to make a filter okay so we'll be doing a for each loop so for each loop if it's our own self it's not will be detect that character or you know so if uh, equals of self it will be not give that loop data and we will do make a array of this okay so instead of that it will be make a town self array but this will be an array so uh self data and we'll be make it as an array so we can add tons of uh, actor class here so add uh unique or you can add a it's on you so if it's equal true it will be not going to be add that and if it's not it's going to be do this okay so this so every after of will we give verify it will be every after of two seconds it's going to be do this thing and before that every after it should be uh before do this system it, it should be cleared the old data first okay then should put the new data okay once we put uh clear the data and we put a new data system okay and if it's equals us so it's not going to be bad if it's not then and after that completing the whole system then he will be do the self data so which is basically he'll be fine from that list he'll be going to be give the attack position okay 
so and also i'm make, going to make it uh, editable and exposed so we can basically control from here uh, when we are basically designing the game it will be red team or blue team so also from here now you can basically uh, do that uh, the concentration of construction where is the contraction graph uh, here so at here now you can do this thing that uh, for the level you can set it actually set the material okay and if it's a blue you can do that basically that simple that verification that if it's a which team it is like if it's a blue team uh, then it should be give you this color otherwise this so if it's this or this okay if it's a red so it will be basically uh, assign the what like why is the matter if it is a red team it will be give the red if it is a blue so it will be give us them blue okay now compulsive so now depends on needs uh, if our team is basically blue it will be synchronized something like that okay so yeah cool we have pretty much the system in next i guess the 30 minutes is enough for today's part in next part we are basically going to be make it more uh systematic for making it attack and then we'll make the rotation attacking system then we'll make the updating system okay there's a lots of thing still left to do so we'll be doing in our future video so thank you so much for watching see you in the next tutorial video